your life must have improved over, over the last uh, couple of years, but still there's this darkness. Is, why, why is that? Is, is can't just, shake it. We made a deal with the devil when we were here, <laughs> and we can't seem to shake it. Or, <coughs> or is it now that you're able to enjoy life more just because, like you said, you, you can write it off uh, away? There's moments on the, the album that, you know, like Sandman, and there's other moments that you'd say sort of represent the more joyous, the joyous excitable part of our, our personalities and lives. But then, like I said, you you know you store emotions, and there was most of my, my sort of early twenties were quite were very difficult, and you know that's a long period. And then success has been like a couple of years, and so most of the, most of my memories are still of that time. So that's why. Can you maybe give an example of why it was so tough uh, growing up? Ah, uh, well, or, it's, it was hard for us being musicians and, you know, trying to convince people that we were, this is what we were really believed in, this is what we wanted to do with our lives, and it was met with sort of, you know, it was difficult to exist with that mentality in, in England. It was hard. We just, I think also, we just like that. It's like, most, uh, most people are. It's like, you don't, you, well, our lives got better, and then we have, a good, we have fun, and we, we have the most amazing time, and we are generally uh, a thousand times happier than we ever have been. And, but at the same time, it's just like every other job where you have bad days, you have good days, you feel miserable, or you feel great. It's just when you do what we do, the, the extremity of it is, is heightened. So you have, you, have, you have highs that you never ever had in your entire life, or probably never will have, and then the crash is even more extreme. So it's like, so it doesn't really, it's just, it, nothing really, who you are doesn't really change so much. And you, what you get annoyed by or what, or what upsets you or what cheers you up or what makes you <coughs> feel a million dollars is, a, is never really changes it, I think. No. What was, what was the highest moment? You didn't. Playing, uh, a lot of concerts, the concerts really are like playing in, we played in Finland in the summer, um, uh, headlined a festival for the first time main stage on the f Sunday night, on the final night. And with one album and you stand out and there's like tens of thousands of people there and it's just, it's an unparalleled feeling of, of, of joy. And it's, it's incredible. And it, it's something that really is, will, will, will stick with you forever, I think. And then we have them a lot of concerts. It's gigs and it's meeting <coughs> people and meeting people who care about your music or have have some sort of connection or or even we get we get those moments when we write songs we so sometimes we write songs and we feel that great sort of feeling but there's loads of them and and then other times it just depends on how much you've drunk <laughs> fair enough um well you mentioned songs like sandman and um music musically you've expanded are, are, are more versatile on this album um is there a specific reason or is it just something you always had in mind I think it's uh, <clears throat> you know it's a way to express yourself, and you know as you develop, as we've got better, we you know ch we've chosen to express ourselves in different ways, and you know music's like uh, you know painting a picture, isn't it? You know it can be a fifty foot high oil painting, or it can be you know a sketch. A sketch. It's just a way of do you know it's like we work with pop music, and Hertz is a is a band that that isn't we never wanted it to be specific to any sort of genre of music or anything we just wanted to we feel like there's lots of different ways we can express and we can that we can fit into what we are as a band and whether it's like the crow is like is like i guess it's like a almost like got sort of americana sort of country influence to it and then sandman which has got that sort of like hip-hop feel to it and they're just, it was a way of us trying to, just trying things out and trying to push ourselves forward and, and not be a band that sort of stagnates and just keeps doing the same thing over and over again. We, we felt it was important to challenge ourselves and also to give fans who, and other people, you've got to do that, I think. And whether people like it or not, and there will be, there, there always will be people that, don't like a direction you've gone in or, or don't get it, but that's the whole point of being in the band. And my favorite bands have always done that and they do things, you go, why have they done that? And then eventually you go, it paints a bigger picture of who the band are and it, you, you're very grateful for it, I think. 
What did you learn by, by uh, expanding? Is, is it just what you said now yeah. uh, that, that you have to as an artist? And that, we, that it's possible for <coughs> us to do it. Like we didn't, we, that we can, that we, there is more to, always was more to who we were. And the first album is one snapshot of it. And this is another snapshot. And there's more to come in the future. And stuff we've talked about and types of music and songs we've talked about making that we haven't even come close to making yet and it's all about the journey towards it and yeah and learn that you just take risks and it keeps you excited and before this album came out we were we felt like we'd started again because we'd sort of took we'd written songs that we hadn't written before and we felt that the nerves and the sort of trepidation that we had in the beginning and it's good to do that there was um one song that was inspired by the um by crash the the ballad album yeah, it's it's quite a well, again quite a bleak or maybe dark, um, <coughs> so dark, dark song. Well, where did it come from? That was just it's the road again. It was just that was the road was us trying to write a song that we never that was darker than any other song and, and more intense and more vivid than any other song we'd written. And I that think seemed like a really creepy thing to write a song about. I think it was also us trying to just create an atmosphere and not write a song so much. It ended up being a, you know, a song, but at the beginning it was more just creating a feeling with the music and the vocals that wasn't necessarily you know, a three and a half minute song with a chorus. As it happens, it ended up being that. But yeah. to begin it, it was us trying to, you know, again, it's like just, you know, we're trying to experiment and create that feel, like a feeling of something. It sort of sounds like that book, the road sounds like crap. It sounds like I imagine it sounds because it's sort of like CD, it's sexy, it's, but it's also incredibly terrifying and and sort of noise. It's a very noisy. Weirdly, it's very noisy because <coughs> it's always about accidents and slap and noises and stuff. So, right. Yeah. Um, well, the, with this song, and I assume it's not of a personal nature. It's just uh, a story. Yeah. Um, the other songs are how many songs are. Um, Autobiographical or most of they all are, I guess they all are in a way they all have parts of them that are and whether it's emotional all of the emotion in them is 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 always comes from the from from us and it's always a very natural thing and that comes out first and it's a mixture of things I mean it's nice to do that and to always make sure you put parts of yourself in songs because then they become stronger, I think. Yeah, so it's always a mixture. Well, the, the, the emotion you talk about is a, is a big part of the, the sound you create. Um, you've never been uh, secretive about having ambition. What does ambition, how, how does, what does ambition mean to you and how did it change since the last album? Question. Well, the first, um, the first album, I guess, bands like Oasis inspired us because you know, they come from a tiny little place in Manchester called Burnage. But yet they wrote these songs that were sort of, you know, universal and uh, weren't localised. And that was inspirational for us coming from Manchester. You also, sure. do you know what, we just have to burn bright. That's all we ever wanted to do is be bold and, and make a, and, and sort of cut ourselves out of stone and, and be brave. And, and that is, uh, that all comes with it and we, we we like things to be dramatic we like things to be ambitious and we like things to 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 be like that because that is what makes it exciting and it's and makes it makes us feel alive i think um how do you look back at the last record after having finished this one do you look at the last album differently and with an eye towards the future, where will you... Um, I think uh, we look, think we're really proud of it. And we've made two albums that very honestly sum up our lives at that moment. And, um, you know, the first album, you can hear how we felt in our lives in every song, you know, it's obvious. And this, this album celebrates the period after that. The sort of years on tour, the sort of, as we mentioned earlier, the sort of chaos, the decadence, the sometimes darkness mm. or whatever. And that's the way to make music for us is to, you know, the next album might be very different, but I'm sure it'll paint a true picture of what our lives are like at that moment. That's the way we make music. And, we've, and we made them both, we filled in gaps on this record that, that, that we wanted to, in order to create a greater thing in the future, we sort of put the two, if you, now with the two records together, 
the band's a very different thing, mm-hmm. and and it's there's parts of it that we've filled in, and there's different directions we can go now because we've we've sort of opened up who the band are a little bit more, which is is very exciting for the future because now it's very inspiring now to think about where the next album could go because we've already laid foundations in very different points. We've written darker songs, but we've also written much more joyous and, and, and sort of dramatic songs like Somebody to Die For and these ones, and that is a way it could go, or it could become even more electronic, or we've sort of done... That was sort of a plan as well, is every record is to open it out more and more and more so that you can be one of those bands that have that can can progress. Okay. Well, thank you. Cheers, Fantastic. mate. Nice one. Thank you.